Welcome back to Down the Stretch, everyone. I'm Mark Cassano. My thanks to Tom Gallo once again for having joined us. And Palace claimed for 20000 in October 2012 by Linda Rice wins the Grade 1 A.G. Vanderbilt. Our final guest has enjoyed a very fine meet. He has already enjoyed two-year-old success winning the Sanford. He's going to try to win tomorrow's Saratoga Special with I Spent It. We welcome back to Down the Stretch, Mr. Tony Dutrow. Tony, good to Thank see you, you. Thank as you, always. Mark. Thank nice you. to have good you to back. Here. Okay, you know, this is not the easiest meet to win at a 25% clip. Things are going very well. Things have been good. The horses are running well. Um, I mentioned the win in the Sanford. Big Trouble won it. He overcame trouble in the lane. As we pick it up, he'll be last on the screen, number four. Tony, talk about this performance. Well, he was taking on some really nice horses, and um, was, they were going pretty fast up, fr up, up front. So Irad took a hold of him and uh, was hoping he would finish up, and, and he did. He finished up great. Um, and he showed courage uh, through the stretch, not only to win the race, but um, to withstand uh, some adversity, uh, being bumped around a bit. Um, but nonetheless, uh, he's certainly a promising young two-year-old. Now, unfortunately, he got injured. What happened and how serious is it? Um, about 17 days after the Sanford Stakes, uh, we gave him a workout at uh, his, his home at Fair Hill Training Center. And um, he, he had a great workout, very good. Uh, but the next day, we saw some inflammation in his suspensory. So we had it ultrasound. And um, a better decision will be able to uh, um, be made in about four months when we'll re-ultrasound again. But obviously, it's a very uh, uh, serious injury. Um, and we'll be able to make a better, they will be able to make a better diagnosis of the horse's future at that point. Well, tomorrow, I spent it goes in the Saratoga Special. We are about to take a look at his debut and last. For our audience, he is number six. Tony, when I watched this video a couple of times, it appears early on that he takes a bad step or, or bobbles a bit. It's coming up very, very shortly. Yeah. What happened? Well, the outside horse, when he crossed over, um, they clipped heels right there. They okay. clipped heels. And it cost him a length or two. Um, but nonetheless, he gathered himself up and uh, was able to finish up uh, in such a short race, five furlongs, uh, very well. Uh, Todd, uh, Todd's horses, uh, his two-year-olds, all Todd's horses perform very, very well the first time. Um, and this was a very nice two-year-old of Todd's, and we were able to run him down late in the stretch. So I thought that was impressive, uh, an impressive effort uh, from I Spent It. How cranked was he? I mean, did you expect a big effort no, from him? I'm, I'm not good at this. Yeah. I'm not good at the first time. Uh, I, and I don't try to be good at it the first time. I would like to see my horses run better than worse, but I'm really not a first-time guy. Well, for not being a first-time guy, <laughs> they run awfully well. Well, this boy did, but I think it's because he's such a nice horse. Okay. What did Javier say to you after the race? Uh, Tony, he did everything right. He overcame some adversity. Uh, he was game. Uh, he said, I can't tell you for sure right now, but I think this is a nice horse. 600,000 earlier this year at Fazek Tipton, Florida. That's a lot of bread. It's a lot of money, um, of which everybody respects. But he's a beautiful colt. He is a beautiful colt, an outstanding, fast, uh, athletic uh, colt. And he breezed very, very fast. And it's not, um, all horses can't breeze fast. So he showed uh, uh, talent uh, at that point. And Super Saver, a Kentucky Derby winner. Uh, we, we'd all seen a lot of Super Savers at the yearling sales. We thought they were athletic horses. We thought that they, uh, a lot of us horsemen thought that uh, we may see what we're seeing from the Super Savers in July and August right now. So all those factors went into uh, Mr. Alex Lieblong and his wife Joanne spending a great deal of money on this, on this horse. How has he done since the debut, in particular, how good was that half mile work last Monday here in 47 and change? Yeah. Uh, the horse has done fantastic since. Um, we feel he's had uh, lots of time. I think he ran on July the 2nd, maybe, I think. 
and uh, he's had plenty of time to come into this Saratoga special. Uh, so all that's been very, very good. His workout uh, over the main track here uh, last week was was just just fantastic. Uh, it really, really was fantastic. Javier was aboard uh, that day for his workout, and um, you know we're we're very happy with him. He came out of his workout great. He's eating good, so we're really, really happy with him. And I know that talking about him doesn't make him run faster, <laughs> but our horse is doing really good. That's wonderful. Inside post, not ideal. You know, I look at it differently. Okay, tell me. Um, inside post, not ideal. And if you would have asked me before the race, uh, Tony, what do you think about the one hole? I would tell you, uh, I hope we don't get the one hole. Um, but having us had the one hole now, there's nothing that can be done about that. And I'm going to look at this as a stepping stone towards this horse. Um, getting experience because of the scenario that the one horse that the one hole is going to um, he's going to be uh, um, he has to accept yeah. and I think that uh, it will pay dividends down the road I think this horse is good enough that whatever he'll learn from this post position will pay dividends down the road for his you know for his future that's wonderful well before we let you go and speaking of the one hole we're going to take a look at a very impressive entry level allowance victory earlier at the meet from the big beast and again he's number one tony this was quite a performance uh the big beast is such a big boy he's the biggest horse i've ever trained really um so he's appropriately named he's appropriately named <laughs> and he's very fast he had the one hole and you have to get away from there to get a get a position and um he did uh he controlled the race and it ended up not being a, a much competition for him um Ran very fast, and uh, once again, he's come out of his race excellent. And he's going forward uh, really well, and we're looking forward to his next uh, upcoming race. Which will be? The King's Bishop. The King's Bishop. Yeah. You know, he was impressive breaking his maiden, I believe it was early June, but this was a substantial move forward, I thought. Uh, he's such a big horse, and it looks like both physically and mentally the last six weeks, uh, this boy has uh, turned the turned the corner and, and grown into himself uh, mentally as well. And um, since he won uh, this race here at Saratoga, we've seen him ha with a lot of confidence. And um, his workout this morning was maybe the best work I ever saw in my whole in my whole career. So, wow! I'm keeping my fingers crossed that uh, that this boy comes forward uh, like he's telling us that he is in the King's Bishop. And for such a big horse to overcome the inside post two races in a row, yeah. that's, that's, that's good stuff. Yeah, and we have this to look forward to. I don't know the scenario of the King's Bishop yet. I don't know how much speed's going to be in there. I don't know what post position he's going he's gonna to draw. But I, I think it would be great if he'd get a little bit of po post position where he wouldn't have to go the first part of it. And he, I, we don't believe that he, he needs, uh, needs the lead. Uh, so it's exciting to see just what's going to happen. And and how the beast progresses. Well, Tony, first of all, all congratulations on an outstanding meet thus far. All the best with I spent it uh, tomorrow in the Saratoga Special with the big beast in the King's Bishop. And we want to say thank you by giving you this $100 gift card to Jacob and Anthony's American Grill, 38 High Rock Avenue, right here in downtown Saratoga. They are open seven days a week for lunch and dinner beginning at 1130. So please take this, enjoy a nice lunch or dinner on us. And as always, thank you so much for thank having joined so us much. on Down thank the Stretch. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Tony. Me. Appreciate yes, it. All right, time to wrap things up. Uh, 